375 Plus has always been one of my favourite Ferraris because I've always thought that it was, for 1954, about as sophisticated as a Ferrari sports car can get. It's got that big engine in the front there. It's a stroked version of the Formula One engine that was so successful in 1950 and 51. But it's got a transaxle from that Formula One car too, and that makes the car very nicely balanced. And what I found driving this car is just how docile it can be. I think a Ferrari like this in your collection can single you out as a connoisseur of the mark because although they may not be very well known because there aren't very many of them, it undoubtedly is one of the great jewels in the whole history of Ferrari. And I think similarly, it would be a great jewel in anybody's Ferrari collection. It's got a great provenance. It won a major race at Silverstone with Froelen Gonzalez driving it in the wet. And God bless the man for doing that. It cannot have been easy. Gonzalez from a Le Mans type start, which he wasn't really built to excel at, the run and jump start, but he took the lead on the second or third corner of that race and he led throughout. And with two laps to go, he came out of the final corner. And as he accelerated away out of sight, there was fully half a minute of dead silence before the second place car came through. So what's special about this great Ferrari? Well, what's special is really the plus. And the plus is the extra 400cc. The plus is that they were only built as factory team cars. They weren't initially sold to private owners at all during 1954, not until right at the end of the year. The plus is also that these cars were driven by some of the true greats of the Ferrari factory team at the time, such as uh, the Pampas Bull, Jose Fuelan Gonzalez, the great Argentinian compatriot of Juan Manuel Fangio, and it was also driven by the great road racer, um, as recognised as such by Mr. Ferrari himself, who was Umberto Malio. And it was driven by Paolo Marzotto, who was one of the great dashers of Italian motor racing at that time. So you have the bigger engine, you have the fact that it's a factory team car only, that it wasn't for customer sale in the period as you knew. Um, you have it driven to victory by Gonzalez. You have it driven at Le Mans by Malioli and uh, Mark Zotto. And you have it driven in the Mille Miglia, a thousand mile race around Italy by the great Umberto Malioli, described by Mr. Ferrari himself as un grande stradista, a great road racer.